Bentonville traffic, 6980 Bravo, taking off 36 Bentonville. Uh, total power, there's green, there's speed alive, see how it arches up. Does that do that? For water runoff or what? Not really sure. Mittenville traffic, Piper 5830, Whiskey holding short, runway 36. Bentonville traffic, 6980, Bravo, just off 36, Trink West, final call, Bentonville. Bentonville traffic, Piper 5830, Whiskey departing, runway 1A, closed, closed pattern. right over there. Oh, sure enough. Yeah, that's XMA. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, that's part of their excuse for not putting in a tower at Bentonville. I'm not sure. I mean, we got Rogers here, XNA here. There's a big circle around it. Uh, uh, maybe I don't know. I mean, it's still not a, a good, good enough reason. I, I really don't know what the reason is. Big house down there. I just don't know what the just. There's got to be a uh, some kind of reason. I just don't know what it is. As far as I know, it doesn't make sense. It's cold, cold, cold. So. Flies much, much, much better. Planes fly a lot better in cold weather than in warm weather. In cold, we cold weather, the air molecules are really close together. In warm, hot weather, especially really hot weather, they're real far apart, so you don't get as much lift. The planes fly a lot better performance. Plant over there putting off 
Uh, that is some sort of a coal plant. Uh, it's over by Silo. That's why I've never seen it. See, we're crabbing pretty big right now. Uh, the magenta line right there, that's the line we're supposed to be going to. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, you can see it here too. See how the tail's pointing? That's not on the line. All right, so and that's the direction we're following. That's my pathway. Those boxes. We're flying this way. For five six zero two zero. Got a thirty knot wind coming from the right. Maintain three thousand. That's why. Zero seven zero. That crazy, isn't it? Is zero two is here. Advise the field and site when you got it. Field site now. Zero two is here. Zero two is here. Visual approach runway three four. Contact National Tower one two seven point one. Take care. Alright, clear vehicle, 3-4, going to tire, and that's good, clear vehicle. What do you say? Look out the window, you wouldn't even know that. But if you look on the map, you see the tail. You can't tell, it's kind of weird. Sometimes you can tell. I mean, if you if you stare off right down the front of it, you can see that you're kind of moving as much as you're moving that way. So that's the 172-5521. Alright, 152 or 172? The pump is off, RPMs are coming back down. Hey boys, there, Mark Charlie, go ahead. I request to go direct to Springdale for uh, some pattern work at Babel. Flew that plane. Hey boys, there, Mark Charlie, that's approved. Advise the weather. Starting to right left down. Downwind to runway 36. And we'll enter our left downwind 436 and let you know about the weather. Thanks. Thank Charlie, I flew that plane. Hey, Rock Road Skyhawk 5521. Has to relocate to flight plan 564 and at 7500 because of wind. 55211. Five five two one one Roger. Resume on navigation. On site two one one. What was that number again? It's a uh, flight plan five six four. Roger. Our set. Pump is bill three zero one eight. Make sure set prop set three zero one eight two one one. Uh, good. HTs are good. All right. So we're at 6,500 feet now. A 28 knot crosswind. See what Riverside is showing. One left and one right. Number 6980 Bravo, contact Memphis Center 126.1. 2618 Bravo, good day. Good. Memphis Center, good afternoon, Banana 6980 Bravo, level 6.5, direct to Riverside. 6980 Bravo, Memphis Center, Roger, Town Call, Timber 3023. 2380 Bravo. Number 38735, contact Razorback Approach on 120.9. Have a good one. We're out of X and A's range. Uh, well, uh, technically. They're, they're a pretty small, they're a regional uh, kind of controller. They're fairly small. Uh, Memphis Center has a much bigger area. Wow, look at those storms. That's those tornadoes that went through. That stretch all the way from New York to the Many Gulf three, of Mexico. Five, five, Memphis Center, Roger, Russell, up 10 minutes, 3016. It's crazy. Oh, look at that. No. Roger, a, sounds a good. Storm. Wow, that's huge. Go ahead. Probably 800 miles, 1,000 miles. Those are the big cold front that come down. You see all these little spikes? These are, those are wind directions, the altitude that we're at. Brad, you said you're going to head towards Hot Springs instead? Uh, Roger, are you going to uh, just overfly uh, Little Rock and head towards Hot Springs, or are you going to touch down at Little Rock? Roger, sounds good. I'll make a note of it. I had to radio into the Memphis over here, even though we're flying. Oh, for too long, they'll pass us off to 
Oklahoma, Oklahoma clearance delivery. Some range. Oh yeah. For that. Nova Scotia. Maine. And some snow up there. I, I wouldn't want to be going there. Oh. That's good. Fairmount 241 Lane. Good morning. Right. Good morning. The uh, Red Fault Center 301. Jake would be the one first. All right, so we got 26 minutes left. Not too far to go. Uh, not bad at all. We're in two hours. Definitely. Glad I wasn't flying yesterday. Yesterday would have been rough. There was a uh, jet trying to take off, or took off right before that storm came. It took off quicker and all get out. Uh, we've done that before too, trying to get out before storms and try and land before storms. Crazy. Probably better if you try and take off and get ahead of it than trying to land before right. it. <laughs> Exactly right. Thing says Neosho River, but that looks more like a lake. Uh, that. Let's see. That's. Are you looking over here? Is that right there? Way up there is Grand Lake. That's Grand Lake. That's all Grand Lake. That's Grove, Oklahoma. I thought it was the lake, but I was going off in here. Yeah. And there's a little one right here, Lake Eufaula. I've heard of Eufaula. Huh? Well, I've heard of both, actually, but... Before I became a pilot, there's a, a couple airports out there by that lake. But there's one right on one of the little fingers. Oh, that's cool. A friend of mine uh, introduced me to fly. We used to, we used to fly over there from Springdale. Five with your hotel contact. Yeah, they Holy had a little one, uh, two, three point nine or two. Have a good restaurant one. there called Hannah Bananas. Bananas. Hannah Bananas. Uh, here, your chair back a little bit for you. You'd land there, walk across the street, eat breakfast, back, fly home. Be fun. Surprised it's smooth up here. It was supposed to be a little bit rough. All four smooth. Most of flying is boring. This shit. A lot of pilots are so good in these things. It's nice. I mean, I guess it'd be having to sit there and just hold it the whole time. I've done that before. You, you, well, by the time you land in one of those situations, just, just mentally drained. What is that? Six nine eight zero like, Bravo contact so Tulsa approach one two four point zero. Have a good one. Twenty four zero eight zero Bravo. Good day. Good afternoon, Tulsa approach. Banana six nine eight zero Bravo. Level six point five. Direct Riverside. Remember six nine eight zero Bravo. Tulsa approach. Advise when you have single or expect one right. Expecting one right, and we do have Tango 8 Zero. One right. There's two runways here. Skyhawk 975, request to approve the Oh, huh. 775, that's approved as requested. It's a plane, though, right? Huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, 17 miles away, though. The one right there. Uh, see that ring right there? That's a 15 mile ring. Uh, he's six, 16 miles away, but he's 600 feet below us. That guy's 500 feet above us. Okay. If we're at 6,500, he's probably 7,000, he's probably 6,000. They're probably IFR flight plans. Oh, an IFR flight plan is different. Than, we're on what's called a VFR flight plan, uh, which means visual reference, which means we can see to fly. When you're on an IFR flight plan, you, you're 
technically you can't see any of the ground, and I'm only off the instruments. So to keep them separate, uh, when you fly west, you fly at even. When you fly east, you fly at odd. When you're on IFRs, you fly at zeros. 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. When you're on VFR, you fly at 0. 0.5, so 7,500, 6,500, 50. That's also approach, airway. That's kind of how they keep have everything a little bit. We'll go ahead and cancel. Number 8, 8, Tango Radio, service separate. is terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Thanks, sir. Big yeah. airliner going over us. See you in a bit. Right up there. He's at 35,000 feet. Also, the departure sky for 54855. 1,400 feet. Direct to Okmogi VOR. Uh, when we, when we came in last night from Dallas, drove in, we went up to the airport to make sure the plane wasn't destroyed from winds or hail. Proceed on course. Skycom 54855. I had the prop uh, balanced. Up with some brakes over there, but the prop properly balanced, so the prop's got three blades on it. Uh, if they get a little bit out of balance, a little bit out of tune, it kind of wobbles a lot when you fly, and so it definitely I can tell it's smooth. Makes a big difference. Did you guys get the storm uh, pretty bad up here? Uh, in Benville? Uh, Jacob, it, it hailed just a tiny, tiny bit. I think the biggest part of that storm went north of us. Okay. And there was a second storm behind it that kind of went south of us. That's went over Springdale. Yeah, that's what we got last night. Was it? You get any hail? So we got pockets. I didn't back with you. Yeah. Uh, 5,500. It was raining pretty good. Wind was pretty good. Roger. Charlie Craft Tech was current at Tell South. Stairs three, in the bathroom three, two, just four. to be safe. They said the rotation was going over Finland. Oh. The, the tornado in, in uh, Kentucky was on the ground for over 200 miles. That's what I heard. Unbelievable.